What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Just like Ice Cream Fitness. Got me some coffee. But I have a world's greatest dad mug, so that makes me cool. Anyway, check it out, guys. I learned a lesson about ethics. I just want to share it with you since you guys know my family, know all that good stuff. Here's the deal. Thomas yesterday was playing in class. And he put these toys in his pocket, these little dinosaur-like heads. They were You could put them on your finger and play finger puppets. They were hard, though. And so he came home, and I'm like, where'd you get those uh, dinosaurs? After he basically came home, and he, we're, we're just, I give him a hug. Usually I come downstairs around 12.20 when Katie brings him home from school. Give him a hug, grab a bite to eat, and go back to my office to finish my food. Right? So he comes home. And he's like, hey, look at these. I'm like, well, were you allowed to take those? And he hits him. Hits him. He took something he wasn't supposed to take. He immediately feels that he did something wrong. So what does he do? He breaks down crying, falls to the ground, starts crying, goes under the table. This went on for a good 10 minutes. Poor, I had to just leave and go work, man. So, long story short, we handle it, tell him what's going on, tell him, you know, we know you didn't mean to do this, but you need to return it. Every time we brought it up, he gets so embarrassed of the situation that he'd start crying. So anyway, long story short, again, I said that twice, my bad. So... Today, Katie couldn't take him to school. I got done with the gym. I'm like, I got this. You know, I have a couple calls to make on the way. Thomas watched a movie in the back. And I put the little toys in a little bag, and, and we're going to give it to his teacher. So I handed it to his teacher and said, look, you know, he didn't mean to take them. Turns out, he put them in his pocket while he was playing with them to take them from room to room. They were in a different room. There's some construction going on. And she said, well, did your mom know you have those? Of course, he probably said yes. And so she said, well, go ahead and put those in your bag for now. So he inadvertently stole uh, but he returned them, and he, he didn't mean to. But the thing I was really happy with is the fact that he knew what he did was wrong, and his moral compass was there to tell him that, look, I need to return this stuff to the school. I need to return it. It's not, it's not mine. He was so embarrassed of it, he started crying. Again, we couldn't get him out of the car. He literally went in the corner. The car line's backing up. Had to yank him out of there, and he was just too sad. I don't like to see my little man sad. Um, you guys know I'm an intense guy, but as a, as a dad, I'm one of those guys who gets down and talks to his kids. We talk it out. We talk about everything. I like to think that I'm a damn good father. I'm a very good father. I know it. I'm going to say it right now. I spend time with my kids. I play with my kids. I give them positive um, reinforcement. I teach them values, ethics, work ethic, and um, not relying on other people for stuff. Basically the opposite of where society's going. So, essentially, th this just brought it to my head that what we need to do as people, and th this channel's beyond bodybuilding, this channel's about bettering yourself, this channel's about a community, about support, about bettering your life, about bringing bodybuilding, business, and personal all together. And uh, that's something, all things I've struggled with, and I think I'm getting a grip on a lot of them. Family, when you travel for a living, ask my buddy Van. You know, and it's hard. And I missed a lot of my kids' childhood. I'm making up for it. I'll, I'll guarantee you that. But, you know, the thing is, a lot of work to I just want to get this out there. Before you do something, think about how you're going to feel afterwards and if it affects someone else in a negative way afterwards as well. It's a good way to your, live your life. It's a damn good way to get by. So my whole thing is, with my kids, I'm trying to instill in them those ethics. Last night, Cammy put her to bed. I put Thomas to bed. Katie was uh, at dinner with a friend. And I put Thomas to bed, and then Cammie, you know, she sat there, she's like, I don't like school anymore. You don't like school, you're a straight-A student. You're better at school than anyone I know. And she goes, well, you know, I like being home, sitting in my jammies, like, like during the holidays. And the thing is, I then explained to her why we need to work. Why I'm like, look, it's not going to get better. As you get older, it's, it's, it's different. And also in that week and a half, two weeks off, you had, what was the one thing I did every day you were off? She's like, work. Yes. I'm like, and what's the le least time I work during the day? She's like, probably six, seven hours. She's old enough to know that. I'm like, all right, and that's an off day. You know, that's how it is. To be successful, you have to sacrifice. And sacrificing is part of life. So Cambria, my little beautiful daughter, got a life lesson too yesterday. That we can't always just lounge around and expect other people to provide for us. We have to work at it. And she's doing that. She's doing a good job. Her New Year's resolution is to be better at soccer. And to get better at gymnastics. School thing, she's got it. That's her thing. She's smart. 
She's what I'm not. All right, she takes after my wife. Me, school, we weren't very cool at first. You know, it took till fifth grade. I had a really good teacher. His name was Mr. Grimshaw. He kind of turned me around where I went from a CD student to an A student. And I kept up a 3.2 to a 3.8 throughout high school and college. Graduated high school with a 3.3, which, being that I didn't care and I just cared about playing football and lifting weights, I think was pretty fair. I didn't ever study. Um... Yeah, you know, I, I knew to get into college, there was affirmative action at the time. I'm not going to speak. This isn't my political channel. You want to hear about affirmative action, go to youtube.com slash muscle politics. I don't get political on here. Not anymore. Alienates too many people, pisses people off. On the muscle politics channel, this guy posted, you should start your own cha another channel for this. I'm like, dude, there's not one supplement video on here. This is all my political rants. All right? That's my place where I let loose on my political views. Don't go there if you get butthurt. Because it's a place for debate, discussion, and opinion. I don't get butthurt by liberals who don't like guns. It's their right, and they might be right. They might have the better angle on it. They, I don't know. I'll learn by debating. Debate equals enlightenment. It usually leads to enlightenment. So here's the thing. If you have an open mind, it does. I've changed my position many times. I use all kinds of positions. Doggy style. Missionary. But anyway, that's not a good thing to bring up when you're talking about kids and ethics, is it? Well, I've only had sex with one woman in my entire life. I think I could talk about it. You could guess. So, you know, my whole thing is teach your kids how to do things. And as people, let's look at ourselves. It's a big deal when you do something unethical. When you do something that jeopardizes or compromises your values, your beliefs. So, that's my lesson for the day. I'm very proud of Thomas. Very proud of him for realizing and I'm glad he did that because now I know I might not be the world's greatest dad. I'm doing a damn good job so far. And our kids are going to have morals. They're going to have ethics. And I hope to God they're contributing members to society. That's really all I could do in life. I'm here to provide for my family and help others. That's, that's what I'm here for. So say what you will. I've been accused of being unethical by a certain individual. I'm not. I've changed my views on things a few times. I used to, uh, I, I mean, my diet theories have changed. They, they haven't changed. They've evolved throughout the years. Um, all my views on branched-chain amino acids, still there. I'll do a video on those later today. But uh, if I say it, I truly believe it, and I truly mean the best. Does it always come out that way? No, we can't be perfect. Whatever your religious beliefs are, you know, Jesus died for our sins, we all sin, and I'm Jewish in saying that, but we all kind of get it, all right? We all kind of get that. We're all, we're not perfect. All we could do is strive to do the best for us, to provide for our own, to be good to our family, be contributing members of society, and that's all I try to do. So, I'm rambling, but it seems like you guys like when I ramble. I'm sorry. Ethics are good. Thomas did something good. Cammie's learning. Everything's good. And that's my lesson for the day. You, you don't, yeah, you guys can dislike the hell out of this. <laughs> I rambled, but I needed to get across that I'm so proud of Thomas for realizing what he did was wrong. It's a blessing that this happened because Thomas, I know I'm doing it right. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm doing it right. So that's all. I got to work, man. I'm like 200 emails behind from the last two days. I'm messed up. I got a lot of stuff going on. Got to do some purchase orders. But anyway, that's it. Um, as Van would say, be good, y'all. And uh, as I would say, ethics, they're not a game.